What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about the brand new lineup of CPUs that Intel will be releasing in the next uh, few months and they're calling it Broadwell E and if you haven't seen the specs, they're freaking amazing blazing fast chips and I'm sort of envious the reason I'm envious is because if you guys haven't been watching my channel about three months, three or four months ago I built a uh, X99 workstation which I use for video editing and gaming and it's based off the Sorry, it's based off the Haswell E architecture, and I brought the best of the best chip. It's the 5960X. It's an eight-core uh, Intel processor, and it has uh, 16 threads. It's blazing fast. I paid a thousand dollars for the thing, and I thought, you know, it, it might last for for a while. It might be the top dog for a while. Now, uh, when I saw the specs of the brand new uh, lineup, and I saw the big dog, the the best of the best processor of their lineup, and I compared it to the CPU that I got, the 5960X. I was freaking uh, so envious and I was kind of pissed because you know you, you spend a lot of money on the system and then like a couple months later it's already outdated and I mean it's to, to be expected with uh, computers, parts and hardware, it, you know it's Moore's Law, if you guys don't know Moore's Law, every two years the uh, number of transistors is doubled so your system is outdated instantly almost. And yeah, I was sort of like I had mixed emotions. You know, I do I do want technology to excel, but you know, I, I didn't want my my CPU and my system to be outdated so fast. So, but you know, I'm happy that they're coming out, and I'm happy that they announced that it's it's going to be available on the X99 architecture. So I don't have to change out anything other than the CPU. If the CPU comes out, I can just buy the CPU and change the CPU. That's all I would have to do. So I'm happy about that. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the specs, and I'm gonna show you the rest of the CPUs on their lineup. So I'm gonna open up the browser right here. All right guys, so this is the, a graph of the specs of all the E processors that, that have been up for uh, Intel, the, the top of the top, the flagship processors. And it started with the Gulf Town. It had a 32 nanometer uh, die, and uh, it, was the, it was called the i7-980X, uh, had six cores, and it ran, I think, at 3.3 gigahertz clock speed. It can be turbo boosted up to 3.6. When it came out, it was $1,000. Now, after that, it was a Sandy Bridge E. And it also had a 32 nanometer uh, size chip, and um, it was called the i7-3960X. It had also six cores, 12 threads, and pretty much similar specs, but it was just a different chipset. Uh, the Gulf Town was the X. 58 chipset and the Sandy Bridge E was a uh, X79 chipset. And again, when it, when this chip came out, it was $1,000. So after that, it was the Ivy Bridge E. It's smaller die. This time it was a 22 nanometer uh, chip, meaning uh, it could fit more transistors or uh, smaller transistors on the chip so you can fit more cores, right? Uh, it was called the i7-4960X. Again, this one had six cores, 12 threads. Uh, it had a bigger uh, clock, a bigger GPU uh, clock speed of uh, 3.6, and it could go up to 4.0. And uh, this, again, was part of X79's chipset, and it started out, it was $1,000 when it first came out. I, I'm seeing a pattern. You know, most of their high-end chips, like the Extreme Edition chips, start out at uh, $1,000, I believe. Now, we're going to Haswell E. This is the chip that I have right now currently in my system. This is the 5960X. And again, this is a 22 nanometer chip. This one has eight cores, 16 threads. Starts off at three gigahertz with the clock speed, but can be boosted at 3.5. I got mine uh, boosted at uh, 4.5, a turbo boost of 4.5. So uh, I've tested it out. I ran all the benchmarks and it's turbo boosted at six. I'm sorry, at 4.5, so I'm happy with that. And again, the chip, this time was a little more money. Uh, launch price was $1,059, and uh, it had a new architecture. This is the X99 chipset. Now, Broadwell E, this is the new uh, best of the best. This is the chip that's going to uh, make mine look like a toy. This is the Broadwell E, and they're calling it the 6950X. This has 10 cores. 20 threads, right? 10 cores, 20 threads. 14 nanometer, they shrunk the die again so it could fit more uh, more transistors onto a, a single chip. The transistors actually got smaller so, so they could fit more on a chip, so more cores could be fit on a chip. Basically, that's how it works. It starts off again at uh, three gigahertz. It could be uh, turbo boosted at 3.5. 
uh, again it's gonna be uh, it's gonna stay on the x99 chipset which I'm happy because I have a x99 motherboard and I really don't want to change my entire system out just so I can get a new uh, top of the top highest end processor all I have to do is swap out processors and it should work and probably like a BIOS update and uh, it'll be supporting DDR4 like the current gen x99 and now they think it might start off at a thousand dollars but it's a it's a greater possibility that it'll be a fifteen hundred dollar asking price because I don't know it's gonna be uh, it's gonna take more money to to build this chip because it's a smaller die so the asking price will probably be a lot more more like fifteen hundred and uh, th this should be a this is only speculation by the way there's gonna be a sky lake e eventually should be a fourteen nanometer chip because if you look at the history here of all their high end chips they, they always had two of the same nanometer. So Broadbell will be the first uh, 14 nanometer chip and then Skylake E would be the second and last. So then they'll probably go down to like 10 nanometer or even lower. God knows how, how small they can get those transistors, right? So nobody knows. They're thinking they're going to call it the 79 something, but who, no, nobody knows at this time. And it should have probably way more cores than 10. But again, the starting price, who knows? I'm gonna scroll down to the other uh, Intel Broadwell uh, lineup of CPUs. This chart here is gonna show you all the new chips that are coming out in their specs right here. Again, I talked about the Intel i7-6950X. This is gonna be the 10 core beast, and they are thinking it, it should uh, it should come out with a $1,500 price tag. It should be $1,500 when, when it comes out. The next runner up is gonna be the uh, i7-6900K. And uh, they think that uh, it'll have, it should have eight cores, 16 threads. And, um, and it's basically gonna work on the X99 architecture. All Broadwell E processors run on X99 chipsets basically. So they think that the starting price of this processor, which is the second powerful in their lineup, not the most powerful, the second to most powerful chip. And uh, they think this chip will be $1,000, similar to the price tag of my 5960X that I have in my system right now. And uh, the next one, uh, they're calling it the uh, i7-6850X. Again, all these chips are gonna be 14 nanometer, smallest, nan smallest chips out there right now. And uh, this chip is gonna be uh, the more affordable one, I guess. Six core, 12 threads, 3.6 gigahertz uh, core clock. And it's gonna have a price tag of probably like $550, a lot cheaper than the 6950X and 6900K. Now, the, the last chip on their lineup here is the 6800K, i7-6800K, 6800K, sorry. It's, again, a 14 nanometer chip. It's gonna have six cores, 3.4 gigahertz is the clock speed. It could be probably boosted at to uh, 3.6. And the price tag should be somewhere around like 390 to $400. Again, X99 chipset. So any chip, if you have an X99, uh, motherboard with all, all the parts uh, and you want to upgrade the chip to the new Broadwell E you have nothing to worry about and it should work you'll only have to probably update the BIOS on the motherboard and you should be good to go yeah and that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about I I'm pretty impressed with the lineup I'm happy when the new chips come out the new technology comes out I was kind of like sad a little bit in the beginning because my, my chip wasn't going to be the best of the best but you know I'm happy that new technology is out and and we're not uh, stopping, we're just getting faster. Again, Moore's Law, every two years, this, the, the transistors double. So that this is holding out definitely with this lineup. But again, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissim from RossmoreTech.com and thank you for watching.